Lufia's theme, Prithia Flowers. Let's play it and then talk about it. Okay, a um, little different than my normal. I'm mostly just playing the melody with my right hand. I usually play chords to keep things simpler for myself as a player. So I have just like less to think about and I'm chunking things together. But it's just a, such a pretty, delicate piece that um, I think just that, that lead just stands so beautifully um, by itself. And then um, it gives you the opportunity in the left hand instead of just doing like straight power chords or whatever like I normally do to at least add in the little like arpeggios there. So um, it's in D flat and uh, note if you try to play along with the actual track on the Super Nintendo it's not going to sound right because for some reason um, everything on uh, the, the Lufia soundtrack is like like a quarter step off of like what the normal musical scale is. So you either have to like slow it down slightly or speed it up slightly to get it into D flat, um, which which I did, or you could put it in D if that's like makes it easier for you to play if you're more comfortable with like the white keys or whatever. So um, so let's just look at it real quick. So uh, so this is actually just this is actually just a major. This is just a D flat major chord here doing them um, what is that first inversion for just a different version of that and then the um, left hand so this is just um, that's usually what I would play root fifth root so a D flat um, on a D flat power chord would be D a flat D and uh, this is just like on like I would say the record um, so you're just playing the power chord and then you're adding the second of the chord of that D flat chord and then the third so the major the major third the major uh, major second major third so for a D flat power chord then you just go up to E flat and then F and then again um, the right hand just it follows whatever the chords are but you know it's just playing like a melody to G flat and again this is just the second and the third of the G flat chord and now we're playing A flat back to D flat
right hand is different this time, it stays up here. And then this is just um, the uh, G, uh, G flat, A flat, D flat, which is D flat is the, what the key is in. Um, G flat would be the, the fourth, and then um, A flat would be the fifth. So one uh, root, fourth and fifth, that's why it sounds, this song just sounds so pretty and basic, because uh, it is it's just stuff that all works together really well. You're really the, the the on the record it goes up here, so it goes. But you could also go. That's that's fine too. You can mix it up however you like. part might not be a hundred percent exact but it's it's pretty close to that uh, so now we go to uh, F uh, I mean uh, G flat and then this is a so that um, the right hand part again for this is a little different it's uh, like B flat D flat F and A flat and I'll write down later what chord that is. It's escaping me at the moment. And then, um, and again, the left hand is doing a little more fancy stuff here. But if you just at least do, for this part, for your bass, um, A flat and D flat, and then go up to, and then hit the same note again, which is A flat in the right hand. That I think that suffices for what's going on musically. And then we're back to like the, the uh, bridge or whatever you call this part. It starts off normal, D flat. And again, this is also like playing like some arpeggio stuff. I just, this is just easier for me to play and I was sick of screwing this up um, when I was trying to record it. So this part, I just started playing power chords. But you really should, you could, if you're a better player, you can still play some arpeggios and or do something here with your with your left hand. down to B, just B, uh, G flat, B, uh, B flat chord, power chord, uh, A flat chord, down to G flat. This part's interesting because it goes down to uh, an F power chord. F, C, F, down to E flat, which means like, up to A flat, and back to our D flat, repeat the whole thing. you notice the, the progression there it's the it's the bass is just literally doing starting at the D flat and just going down uh, and then and now it's a B and since I'm not playing anything in the right hand it's easier for me to do the arpeggio here so again, you're just playing root, fifth root, second, third. And then you're back to D flat with that same arpeggio. Second and third. That was it. That's a Lufia's theme. It's a really beautiful piece. I just, I've been wanting to play these since college for 20 something years and I finally played them uh, this year and they made me really happy. So, um, Hope you enjoy. Hope that was helpful. See you next time on Video Game Music on Piano for Scrubs.